Hi, I'm Samantha Simon with New Roots, and I'm here with Corlette Dammy in her studio. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what she does and how she got to what she does, and uh, a little bit about art and craft. Tell me a little bit about your background and how you got into art. Well, I always had an interest as a kid in things to make and do. But, like, I never took art in high school or school at all. Um, I was a language major and journalism major in college. I mean, I always would draw, but it never occurred to me that that might be something you could go to school for, or it just wasn't a reality. And um, what mediums do you work in? Um, I used to work a lot in stained glass a few years ago, but really, um, my heart is as a printmaker. I love doing linoleum black prints, woodcut prints, um, screen prints. These are um, black prints, a linoleum black print that I did last night, actually. These were my sort of juju voodoo dolls that I've been working on. So I start out with a sketch. I kind of take the embroidery hoop size and you just <clears throat> trace your drawing onto the screen. And then you use, I use Mod Podge, which is a waterproof glue after it dries. And so anywhere that I don't want ink to pass through, I just block it out with that glue. And so you create this, you know, screen, and then you put it on your fabric and just pull the ink through, and voila, instant soak screen. And so you can mix and match and reuse them as you want to. Like you can see, these guys are all composites, and there's different heads. There's a bug, a cat, and a bird, but they all have the same body and wings. You mentioned using um, recycled materials and, and recycling found stuff. Um, can you talk a little bit about the art work that you do? What what sort of stuff do you use? Well, I mean, a lot of like this fabric is vintage. Sometimes I'll go to yard sales and just you know pick up old clothes or linens or you know shower curtains or whatever things that in, that the fabric inspires me for some reason. I'm drawn to it and reuse that fabric. I paint on a lot of refound, recycled woods. Like, um, these are old fence slats. We had replaced a section of our picket fence in the front yard, and I thought, oh, that's wood, I can paint on that. How do you identify yourself? Do you identify yourself as an artist? Do you identify yourself as a, a crafter? What, how do you? Well, I've just really, in the last year or so, become comfortable with calling myself an artist. Like, I never, I always felt like that was such a, you know, you think Picasso, you think Matisse, you think right. Dolly, you think these great minds in art. I guess it's not really that big a deal. It's not, as my boss Bob Devin Jones would say, it's not that deep. You are a creative person and you're an artist, or you're a baker, or you're whatever. Yeah. You know, you can call yourself a chef, you don't have to be Julia Child. That's partly why I started calling myself the Crafty Hag when I first went into my little home business. Um, I felt like that was sort of, a good identifier for me, you know, that I was crafty, but that in a, in a level wasn't just about making craft, but in an, in a mental sense. Now I'm just like, okay, that I'm just accepting that that's who I am. I can't run from it. I can't deny it. That's what I want to do. For you, does it have anything to do with a, a need to do it? To you know, it's satisfying something that needs to be satisfied in your life. Yeah, and it's weird that I kind of, in my mind, I think I suppressed that need for quite a while, but there was always a creative outlet. I mean, for a while it was in, you know, decorating for the holidays or, you know, and I would always make these special Halloween decorations. Well, how many people make their Halloween decorations? That's not about decorating, that's about a need to create. You know, I didn't realize that that's what I was doing, but now, I mean, it seems kind of obvious now that I look back. Maybe we don't have health insurance benefits, but, you know, this is a different kind of health insurance. It's mental health.